finish him off. Better move it. What is happening YouTube? You already know who it is. It's your boy today. We have some crazy gameplay of a build that is like outrageously strong. Um, it is a tweaked version of the last build I put up for those who are going to be curious. If you guys want an exact build video of what I was using this build video, smash that like and leave me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, you know, you go off the last build video I did and kind of tweak it see if you can figure it out. But the build I was using in this gameplay is a dominating build, bro. I am not exaggerating. I'm not clickbaiting. Like, it really does just shred and go through everything. It survives. It tanks. It's everything. You know what I'm saying? But And you'll see in the gameplay as, as we talk about the couple things that we're going to talk about today. But as you can see, like, it's just it's phenomenal. But anyways, uh, today I just want to talk about, like, PvP in general and a couple things that have been on my mind. Um, first things first, a lot of people ask me, like, how do you be good in PvP and, like, how do you, you know, go through servers? Some players can't really, you know, tank, take on the entire server over and over and over and over without having to run up north and all this stuff. Honestly, it's team comp and a lot of hit firing. <laughs> and I mean it when I say that. As much as people can't stand the idea that hit fire is, you know, auto aim, exploit, or whatever people say, like you can see right here just shred but um a lot of people don't like the hip firing and i understand totally like i 100 percent agree with you guys that auto aim does make it crazy especially if you have a decent build that can tank um it kind of does the work for you but in order to dominate a server over and over and over you literally have to be able to move fast your movement is everything you see in this game it looks like i'm like a twitching flea in a way because my camera shakes all the time I'm sprinting stop everything like all that kind of stuff comes into regard when you're taking on a server um, when whenever you're rushed in situations where it's like 4v1 or 8v1 you guys see you'll see in a lot um, in this gameplay I go across like a lot of moments where I should have been dead as far as if everybody focused me you know I go 1v5 1v6 whatever and I survive in it um, one thing that how the division is and I kind of discovered this way early on like back um, when I made a sticky bomb video um, when it comes to players aiming First of all, players pull their shots because they don't want to go rogue. Um, let's, let's just put that out there. That's why you see the same team always going manhunt um, in the server because everybody else who's around it, they, they kind of pull their shots because they're scared to go rogue and you know they don't want to get turned and focused on and they play kind of cowardly. So it gives the other team an advantage to be able just to spray because they you know when you're manhunt you're gonna spray regardless. You're gonna spray nonstop at anybody that is anything. Anything that's moving you're gonna shoot. So when you when you exploit that concept with running into the packs like. You'll see a lot um, in the gameplay when they're when they're like all bunched up because the server, you know, the server is hungry for man. If they get killed like four or five times, they get upset and they try to come in and they try to dominate you by you know rushing you or whatever. You run into the packs and they pull their shots. You mix that with you hit firing and their straight bullets. It it becomes like easy for the manhunt team of the server just to wipe through waves and waves and waves of agents no matter how unrealistic it sounds to like go like 4v like 20 or whatnot but I've, I've kind of like mastered the concept of being able to play like play the disadvantage for other players like I kind of make players play stupid in a way and it makes me able to get easy kills like easy mix up like I strafe I have really really good timing with it and I notice when you are able to execute your timing when it comes to your heals when it comes to knowing when to start spraying like why is it when they're reloading like how to hunt them down when not to overextend all this stuff when you put all these things together you have a crazy like magnificent outcome of you just destroying the entire server so for those people who want to be good at division pvp and whatever good is whether it be 1v1s or whether it be just server dominating for 1v1s it's all about timing heals that's pretty much it timing heals and landing hit fire and for servers it's basically making the server play against themselves you're not going to be able to face tank uh, 25 people who are truly aiming at you with ult and all the things that they have it's not going to happen most of the circumstances you see are players who are playing you know making them come and rush by themselves in the team Ethan like you'll see like right here like that guy if he would have came down the stairs usually was what happens he gets melted because he has to worry about 
four people when in reality there's like a rotation like snowball effect of people coming in and out of the checkpoint and when they overextend by themselves that's four people in able to like clap down on him and they, it comes one at a time so that's pretty much how you dominate servers and make sure that that your healer is there like have a healer present but anyways on to the next thing when it comes to build making in this kind of meta healing necessarily isn't okay when you're in a group having a healing build that's a dps it's not a necessity if you have a good healer if you're a really, really good healer you can run no skill power and be completely fine because of how powerful healers are but for the people who like having a build where they can go solo and they can you know handle like outrageous opportunities where you know it's like 3v1 2v1 or whenever they're solo if you want to be like that you have to be some form of hybrid and it doesn't necessarily have to be like <clears throat> using a specific gear set but you have to have a high electronics um a lot of people you can't do like back in other meta where you're able to you know get away with just having specialized and rolling everything towards firearms yes it works people melt but longevity it just it doesn't work anymore that is like the new thing that's why you're seeing so many hybrids coming out because people are, are finally realizing like i said way back then how important skill is regardless of how annoying it is people don't like running skill power People like running glass cannon, firearm, they want to be able to shred. But there's a lot of factors that go into shredding. And think about this, if I'm a hybrid build that has a really, really high pulse because I have high electronics, that has decent toughness where I'm not getting shredded because I'm not all firearm, and have just enough firearms to proc my talents, I'm going to shred a DPS build because DPS builds are reverse skill builds. They're just glass cannons regardless. So I don't need that much firearms to shred them with the high pulse fused with the fact that I can tank their shots and that's why you see a lot of hybrid builds becoming like the, the go-to and when you mix a hybrid build that can heal itself with a healer on your team this is where you start getting these like this gameplay where we like we're basically like toying with the server because how players play they play kind of like, like stupid they play into our hands and we're able to use that and we're able to exploit it so when you have a build like mine and you're able to understand how it works and my play style is very twitchy like i said i love strafing i love making people miss and i love capitalizing on mistakes that's my play style that's why i win a lot of my gunfights i don't win a lot of my gunfights based off aim i win a lot of my gunfight based off of making them miss and making them eat and run into bullets so that's kind of how it is you see oh let me get on this extreme teammate moment look how we body block this is amazing we blocked ourselves came in through the nade flash it got out for everybody up anyways yeah i just want to bring that up but like i said when it comes to this game this is what pvp is supposed to look like it's supposed to be a bunch of guns and chaos and stuff blowing we didn't have to really worry about that many secret mines i think there was like one or two secret mines the entire day um that i was playing um you have to worry about dead eyes and stuff and yes dead eyes are extremely broken as far as damage but honestly i don't think like i honestly don't think the two shot dead eye needs a nerf i mean that that's a whole another factor it's not like because there's like two dead eyes in this server and you, as you can see in situations like this a dead eye really has to be accurate because one bullet and they're rogue you know what i'm saying you know exactly where they are and they panic and as you can see like right here i exploit the fact that the whole server was here and they go rogue so after i kill them that's a whole nother 30 seconds i have to wait for that another wave and i can take out whoever's coming as you can see everybody gets pieced off i get to clean up kills i get to be able to melt people i get to have full heals everything so that's basically how you dominate going around when it comes to server. a lot of people are like oh yeah you're so amazing da, 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 you're really good for this i, I am I, don't get me wrong i'm a really really good player but i play off of everybody else's mistakes which makes me really good you can see the hate field there like the healing capabilities which is good right here and you can see how effective it is to be able to have those heals on call so as far as like the game's pvp yes it is like it's chaos i mean we've all known that division has been chaos and division has been a bunch of moments where you're just spraying and just hoping you kill something but now that you're in a meta where a lot of people are running glassy it doesn't even matter really like how incredibly high i honestly think with 5,000 firearms 5,000 is the okay low to be able just to shred somebody you don't need anything you don't need 8,000 firearms to shred somebody as you can see in this video i'm really putting damage on people not this guy this guy is extremely tanky you can see how amazing like tank builds are like let's watch this like he's not dying no matter what and uh, i found out that he's running a high tank but that's why he ate so much bullets really got him right here but anyways um people are so focused on the idea that the only way to melt is by putting high firearms no there's a happy medium 
that is just amazing and i think with this build this is my most balanced build in this gameplay it's like i said it's basically like a like an upgraded version of what i showed you guys with my skill haste video um just you know i just specced into different things and made it more effective but for the most part um like i said if you want to run a build that is dominating you have to have a heal there i don't care even if you're other than the fact that if you're like a really 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 tanky build if you're any kind of dps build for longevity don't get me wrong there are a lot of glass cannon builds who time their heals perfectly and they're able to shred and you know get away in situations but over time i'm talking about lasting through not having med kits and all that you need a build that is able to use healing and refresh is like my favorite gear piece right now because that is the most incredible buff you could have on a single gear piece in, in my opinion in this meta because 30 percent healing is crazy that is a jump for those who don't have skill power but like i said i always recommend skill power um don't allow yourself to be stuck in the idea that having high firearms is the only way to go and and if, you, if your dps isn't high then you're not melting no uh, i'm telling you like it's you could see it right here there's so many situations where it looks that i, I could have proven that the build having low firearms isn't really a good thing but you can see i've shredded many a people and melted many a people using this build and i really had no problems um but don't allow yourself to fall into what everybody else claims like you know they say you're bad for using this man use what you think works like that, that's how builds like this are created I'm, I'm able to have dominating builds that people don't expect because people are so used to the norm they're not used to super high heals they're used to seeing somebody at low health and then right after that they're good you know what i'm saying they're like okay he's, he's gonna die so like as you see right there i went to one shot to full overheal and stuff and it's amazing like oh i'm about to do one shot again my hope my health popped right there but too bad i was getting body anyways but like i said for for the most part the game is based around hybrids now um that's my that's like my synopsis of it that's my personal opinion i feel in order to have the best build it has to be a hybrid of some form and not hybrid like mix of gear sets but hybrid as far as firearms and electronics more so balance i say balance builds are the best builds um however that may be however that may be really 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 tanky and you know decent firearms or Really, really high firearms, really, really high electronics, oh or God, really, really high stamina, and really, really high electronics. However you mix it up, I say that is the best way to run the game. Heal on me. Heal on and for you to balls. dominate and for you to be able to take watch out up. servers, watch if you watch utilize that and learn how to strafe, and by strafing, I mean, for people who don't know how to strafe, it, all it is is a series of... Um, this man like spamming your, your, your sprint time. button over and over and over in different oh, directions and being able to move your camera and I always recommend high sensitivity to be able to control that so me, me. utilizing strafe oh, utilizing dude, the, kids, the, the server against no itself no. by by way of running into the crowds making sure that they, they have to shoot amongst each other that all Which the boards you, don't bro. you know land I on you avoiding ADSing when there's more than one person all unless you know you have a tackle it up or you're I'm protected so with a full over here. Yeah. Never, ever, so ever, ever, ever stuck, ADS bro. with anything under than first, than your first bar gone. I don't do, do it. Nothing, I don't care what nobody tells you. Bro, I've done an experience. I don't care kit, how tanky you are. If you ADS and you lock yourself in that place, like you see right here, this guy's ADSing so much he doesn't even understand what's going on. That's why right now in this current meta, yeah, hit firing is the safest way to go as far as being able to dish out damage and stay fast paced. As, as bad as people say, oh, you're bad for using it. Don't don't belittle yourself and make Got yourself him. get melted just because people are saying Come that. Back, Utilize what you can name. while you can. Run. Nobody Run. can really. People are gonna complain regardless. If you use seeker, complaint. If you use dead eye, complaint. If you use firecrest, you're trash. It doesn't gotta, matter what you use. Nade, they're gonna complain. Even if you use a typical oh, yeah. meta DPS build, people are gonna complain about you utilizing the hip fire or utilizing the auto aim. Or utilizing your short bow knee pads on your sure. high end build, like as you can see right there, I shocked him for the kill. Utilize your ult. So your don't even worry hit. about what is trash or what's not. I'm telling you, everything works in the oh, game. But if you I want my true it. professional got, advice, oh. if you will, um, on the game, since I am a hardcore division player, hybrid builds are the way to go. And preferably either have 6,000 firearms or have 200,000 skill power. However, you may do that. Oh, it's too, it's too much. Right I say here, that's bro. the happy medium. Run. Get you your skill power at 2,000 and then work Hopefully around that. That's build. that's my advice to build making. That's my advice to having a build that's like this one. Oh. Um, I might end up showing Ooh, the stats yes, later. Yes, I don't know. I'm kind of selfish because I really, really love this build. I really <coughs> feel like one. it just dominates. On, but one. like I said, your, your happy medium is the best way to go. 
don't pay attention to high firearms because I I have so many tests that I've seen that high firearms is not a necessity. It works, but it's not a necessity. Oh you don't need God. to have high firearms Dead to help. You need to be able to survive. You need to be able to move. You need to be able to outplay and to right dominate right and destroy servers in 1v1s, yeah, 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 1v2s, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1v3s, 1v9s, 1v20s, 1v30s. Oh, it doesn't matter what it is. If you utilize their play style dominate. and use it against them, make them make stupid moves, you don't have to worry about all the extras. You're able to melt. You're able to survive. And you're able to set them up for failure. So thank you guys for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Yeah, I, I know I kind of went off a little bit, but I just wanted to help those people who wanted to know like how how to be better at the game as Bro, is like i said anything can change. it could change Please. in 1.61 and completely be different but as of right now movement hip fire and heal timing remember that you know what i'm saying but it's been real thank you guys for watching you guys have a blessed day yeah boy this, this game gets out. you mad sometimes Fucking. bro damn pick we need a can use a sword